Today's sunshine note is titled, Ready for Company. Abraham looked up and saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he hurried from the entrance of his tent to meet them and bowed low to the ground. He said, If I have found favor in your eyes, my lord, do not pass your servant by. Let a little water be brought and then you may all wash your feet and rest under this tree. Let me get you something to eat so that you can be refreshed and then go on your way now that you have come to your servant. Genesis chapter 18 verses 2 through 5 My friends Ron and Joyce are the most gracious hosts I know. They have ridden the roller coaster of financial disaster and success and found themselves doing well in their retirement years. Consequently, they have three beautiful homes in three beautiful places that anyone would want to vacation in. What's amazing about Ron and Joyce isn't their financial success. What is amazing about them is that they have never met a stranger. They open their homes to just about anybody, anytime, whether they are home or not. As a pastor, I have called them several times and asked to use their homes for spiritual retreats. Not only would they always say yes, they would make sure everything was set up perfectly to accommodate our needs. And they always refuse to accept any kind of payment for their kindness. I am pretty sure that if the Lord and his companions were standing on the edge of Ron and Joyce's yard, they would be ushered in and fed one of Joyce's famous meals, and then Ron would take them golfing. I believe that this sort of kindness puts God's people in a unique place in which God can reveal himself in their lives. When we make a practice of going out of our way to treat God's children, as if they matter, God will show himself in ways that will amaze and surprise us. Remember Hebrews chapter 13 verse 2. Entertaining strangers could turn out to be something more than we could ever imagine. And remember Jesus' words in Matthew 25 verse 40. And the king will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these my brothers, you did it to me. Abraham looked up and saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he hurried from the entrance of his tent to meet them and bowed low to the ground. He said, If I have found favor in your eyes, my lord, do not pass your servant by. Let a little water be brought, and then you may all wash your feet and rest under this tree. Let me get you something to eat, so that you can be refreshed and then go on your way, now that you have come to your servant. Genesis chapter 18, verses 2 through 5. May God bless you today.